What is going on guys, welcome back to the C++ tutorial series. In today's video we're going to learn about the difference between a call by reference and a call by value. So let us get right into it. So this episode today is once again going to be a little bit more technical. We're not going to talk about surface level stuff here. We're not going to talk about basic programming structures like loops or conditions or functions. We're talking about what's happening actually in the memory here, or what's happening actually on a lower level when we do a call by reference and a call by value. So let's say, for example, we just have a basic function here called my function. And this function accepts an integer as a parameter. And what it does with that integer is it increases it by one, it increments it, and then we just go ahead and see out the value. Like, uh, like that. There you go. So a very simple thing. And now what we do in the main function here is we say int a equals 10. And then we call the my function on a. So what happens here is a so called call by value. What happens here is we take a assign 10 to it. Now the variable a has the value 10. When we call my function and we pass a as a parameter, what happens is that this integer here, this integer x takes on the value of a, then x is increased by one, and then x is printed. This does not mean that we're actually passing a to the function. And we can see that this is the case because if after the function, I go ahead and see out a, <clears throat> we're going to see when I run this, that a is not going to be changed. You can see we assign a to be 10. We call the function on a, which then prints x, which is 11, because we take 10 as a value, increase it by one, uh, see out it onto the screen, we get 11 as a result. But then we again see out a and we can see that a is unchanged. Because when we pass a to my function, we're not passing a itself, we're not passing the variable a the object, the memory address a to the function. So when we call x plus plus, we're not actually calling the plus plus on a we're calling the plus plus on x which has the value which was, uh, which was given the value of a. So because of that, uh, a is not changed. Now, this is different from the call by reference, the call by reference, <clears throat> if we want to do one, uh, we need to specify here, that we don't pass just x, we pass the address of x. So what we do here is we pass a reference to x, or actually not to x, but when we pass something to my function, it is not just a value, but we take the actual uh, address of that thing, we take the actual reference to that thing, uh, thing. So in this case, what we do is we don't just copy the value of a into x, but we copy a into x, a is x or x is just a reference to a right now. So if we go ahead and run it like that, you're going to see that the output is different, because now we're passing the actual thing. Um, I hope that's not too confusing here. So by using that operator here, and we're going to talk about this operator when we get to pointers this is a little bit uh, later on in the series. Uh, but this operator here refers to the memory address of this variable. So when we pass a, we're not just passing the value 10, we're passing the actual address of a or it's, it's interpreted as the actual address of a. And then when we call plus plus, we're actually calling it on the a variable and not just on uh, a variable that was initialized with the value that a hat. So this was the basic difference between a function call by value and a function call by reference. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to look at something called aliases, which uses the same principle that we just discussed uh, to create aliases for variables. So let's say we have an integer i1, which is 10. And now I want to create a second variable uh, that is just the same thing with a different name. And for this, I can go ahead and say int, and then the same symbol here, the end, for example, integer one, or you can call it ABC123, whatever you want, uh, as long as it's a valid variable name. So what we do with that is we just assign i1 to it. And this is all we need to do. And right now we have two exact same objects, integer one and i1, it's the same thing. Uh, and we can use both as an alias. So this is nothing, nothing but a simple alias, just another name for the same variable, uh, for the same object, so to say. Uh, and we can see that this is the case by printing out. Uh, first of all, we can, of course, print out integer one. 
but then we can do also something else. So let's first run this. And you're going to see we get a value 10 here. Uh, but we can also go ahead, for example, and say integer one plus equals 90, for example, and then we can go ahead and print not integer one, but I one. and you will see that the changes that I applied on integer one are now also applied on I one because it's the exact same thing. Uh, click the wrong button. Sorry. Oh, there you go. We got 100, even though I'm printing I one and not integer one in the end. So by saying by by specifying an alias like that, I just choose another name for the exact same thing. I'm just creating a second variable with a certain name that is the exact same reference as I one. Uh, so we can use this to create aliases here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.